ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once again to another episode of The Cider Drinker. Now, last time I didn't have the chance to do a proper celebratory cider review in my new apartment. As you can see, I've changed locales because, well, kind of the lighting was a bit bad in the last review, so I thought, yeah, let's change it up and see how this one goes. So you can see my, uh, well, our lovely glasses cabinet behind us, which is full of delicious Belgian beers at the moment, but that's not what you're here for. You're here for a cider review. And yeah, my girlfriend is with me tonight, so I can properly celebrate and did a little bit of a coin flip and everything because it was a toss up between two ciders. But tonight I am going for a Bemble with Care cider. And it is their Apple Vine Traditionnel. As you can see right there, it comes in massive one litre bottles like this. And uh, well, it is a pretty special sort of um, sort of cider because if you can see on the back there, don't know if you can see that or not, but basically it is all in Russian because it's only available in Russia. <laughs> and I've been, um, well, I'm privileged enough to actually sample a little bottle of this as well as um, with my uh, with my girlfriend. So once again, Benedict and uh, all the other guys at uh, Bemble with Care, thank you very much for giving me the chance to sample this bottle. But I, I, well, basically, it's going to go on top of my uh, top of my glasses cabinet because this is. Uh, a pretty damn cool design, wouldn't you say? Lovely little bottles. Um, unfortunately, I don't really have uh, much more information for you. All I can say is that it is 6% uh, ABV, and as I've already said, it comes in uh, one litre bottles and is only available in Russia. So uh, if you do go to Russia, keep an eye out for this one. I think they also do uh, a hot cider, which is a bit basically like their, like a mulled cider or something. Ignore that, window outside, cars honking. Thank you very much. So anyway, let's put it off no longer and get this top open. If I can get a grip, there we go. Hmm, okay. So there was, um, you probably didn't hear it, there was no fizz at all in there. Oh, it's uh, in a green bottle. You can see there, in a green bottle, so uh, yeah. No fizz at all, this might be um, a still cider, you never know, so uh, well, let's go in for the whiff test. Oh, wow, okay. Wow, that's different. Do you know what? That, that kind of has sort of a medicine-y sort of smell to it. Kind of like a... Yeah, almost like a cough syrup sort of smell. That's very, very different. Not smelled that in a cider before. Um, as usual, I've got my um, Bemble with Care glass here, as you can see. So naturally, I'm gonna pour it in for myself, so let's get that poured in. Um, yeah, wasn't expecting that smell. That was uh, completely different. I say, it kind of had a, like a medicine-y, blackcurrant liqueur sort of smell to it. And strangely enough, it did kind of have the smell of, um, the smell of vodka, so. Right, let's go in for the colour test, if I can reach over there. Yeah, as you can see, it's, um, yeah, very light in colour. Got, it's actually cloudy, as you can see, completely still. And, um, yeah, looks very, very nice in the glass. So, uh, do I actually get any more smells off the glass? Let's go in for a whiff. Then now it's got sort of more of um, a citrus fruit sort of smell. Um, kind of like a, an orange or maybe a, a lemon or something. But uh, if, I could, if I could pinpoint the sort of like aroma, I'd say it was probably more like a medium sweet sort of smell. Definitely can't smell any uh, tannins or any dryness or anything, so uh, well, let's see what this tastes like. So uh, yeah, cheers guys, and here's to, um, well, Bebel With Care's Apple Vine Traditional, and once again, thank you to the guys at Bebel With Care. Cheers. Well, it doesn't taste... Wow, it doesn't taste anything like uh, the smell. It, um, it's kind of almost got like a, a dry sort of taste to it now. Let's get a uh, second opinion. Hmm. 
Yeah, it's quite. Um, I don't mean I don't mean this in a bad way, but it's kind of a flat in its taste. It's um smooth, I suppose you could call it. It's smooth and velvety as it's going down. It's like uh, I've got a really like thick. Um, well, full body consistency to it, but it's very smooth and velvety. It goes down almost like, um, yeah, almost like a treacle or something. Like, just goes smoothly down like that. Again, a bit like uh, cough syrup, funnily enough. Um, let's get another one. Yeah, um, unfortunately I'm not really getting many more flavours from this one. Uh, it's got a slight um, apple taste to it, a kind of, um, again I'd say medium sweet bordering on like sweet, but um, I can see this kind of being more a cider or an apple vine that you can just like, you know, just sit back and drink however you want. It doesn't taste of 6%, it tastes... Um, a lot weaker than that. I'd say it's probably more like a, a four or a five percenter. So uh, it's you know pretty easy to drink, but uh, yeah, not really getting much more flavours from this. So uh, yeah, well let's get a final taste before the final verdict, shall we? Just in the um, in the undertones underlying like coating the sides, coating the sides of my throat and as it's going down, there is a very, um, there is quite a nice hint of like the, the, um, the citrus fruits, like you know, the oranges and the, um, and the lemons and the limes. You've got that kind of coating around your mouth, along with uh, the nice like medium sweet apple tastes. Um, kind of left my mouth feeling a little bit refreshed as well. It isn't um, a dry mouth feel, it's uh, kind of more like a, yeah, again, again, like a medium or a sweet sort of uh, mouthfeel at the end, but yeah, it's not a bad little apple vine. It's not the, um, I, I will say it's not the best apple vine that I've had from Bebel with Care, but compared to like some of the other ciders that I've tried, that's, um, you know, that's, that's no bad thing because it's still a very, very lovely little drink. It's one that is easily drinkable. And seeing as it comes in a litre bottles like this, it's very easy to share as well. But uh, anyway, for a final verdict, Bevel With Care's Apple Vine Traditional is going to get a 6 out of 10. Um, as I've already said, if you are ever going to go to Russia or something like that, then uh, yeah, do keep your eyes out for it. I'm pretty sure you can get it for, well, I don't know what the you know, exchange rate and everything is up there, but I'm sure you can get it for pretty cheap, and yeah, just a, a nice little one, a nice little drink to share about, have a few of your friends over, and just gently chill and have a blast with it. So, as again, thank you very much, uh, Benedict, and the guys at Bember With Care for allowing me to try this. I feel very, very privileged that you've uh, given me the chance to do it, and uh, yeah, that is another episode of The Cider Drinker. Hope you liked it, and as usual, I will be back with another delicious and tasty cider soon. But until then, Let's go and finish off this, uh, well, this litre bottle of Bevel With Care at for Vine Traditional. And my girlfriend's going to try some too, so take care, guys. Until next time.